Hi everyone out there in YouTube land. Today I'm going to show you the new Browning Bighorn tent. My family recently purchased this tent and everything looks great online. Um, the big challenge was there were really not any reviews, certainly no video reviews, and I thought, hey, I'm going to do this so maybe this can help you too. So stick around, there's more to come. Okay, here's the tent. Again, this is the Browning Bighorn tent. You can see that the base size is 10 feet by 15 feet, center height 7 feet 3 inches, and a total tent area of 150 square feet. The thing we liked about this particular tent was that uh, its walls are virtually straight up and down. Uh, as you can see, uh, it uh, offers you a lot of uh, room within the tent, as opposed to a tent that has uh, more so sloping walls. Another thing that uh, people don't realize, and I certainly didn't realize when I bought this tent, is that it's manufactured by Alps Mountaineering. Now, if you know anything about camping equipment, you'll know that Alps Mountaineering makes really good products. So hopefully that's a, a good thing here. I'll show you right here in the corner. Get it to focus on the uh, part at the bottom there about the uh, Alps Mountaineering. So it says distributed by, but it did come in a box that said it was manufactured by Alps Mountaineering. The book in the bag, you can see that it's uh, pretty much a standard you know, millimeter uh, thickness tent material. So it's got a little bit of a rubberized backing uh, in the back of the bag. Uh, the zipper looks, uh, you know, pretty typical for a uh, camping bag zipper. I do like the fact that inside, they actually have sewn in instructions uh, into the bag uh, that are waterproof. So that's a big, big plus. Okay, so I unrolled the tent and of course here's the tent itself. You also see here is the rain fly and it comes with two uh, bags. So you've got uh, a big bag. Again, it's a pretty durable uh, size cloth here uh, for your tent poles. And you also have a nice uh, smaller bag here for your tent stakes. Now the tent stakes themselves, let me get these out of here. I've read that they're not the best. You know, they're typically the ones that come with the tent. These uh, standard steel uh, shank uh, stakes. So uh, what you'll probably want to do if you're going to camp with this tent in any of uh, winds or conditions, right? Uh, when does it not get windy? Uh, you might want to invest in some more heavy duty uh, tent stakes. Um, I actually have several of these. These are a, a Coleman product, and you can see it's a, a lot more substantial and uh, has a nice uh, head on the top there that you can use to bang in uh, with a rubber mallet. So, uh, and a little hook there makes it very easy to pull these up uh, when you're done camping. All right, let's set it up. Okay, so I've completed step one of the uh, setup process. Uh, I've unpacked all the poles, and you can see I've got two really long black fiberglass poles. Those are going to go from corner to the corner. I have one gray fiberglass pole. That's going to go across the center of the top. And then I've got six shorter black steel poles, which are the structural supports. I did notice on the black steel poles, instead of the typical uh, braided nylon shock cord that's inside, it's actually a steel cable. It's still shock corded, uh, but that's nice, it gives you some additional strength uh, in the poles. And then of course the fiberglass poles have a nice um, you know, nylon shock cord, thick cord uh, on the inside. All right, step two. Okay, so as you can see, the tent is up. I skipped past the second step and all the way to completion just to show you what it looked like. But here are some things that I observed as I was going through the steps. Uh, first, the step number two says to insert the poles across uh, the top, which I did and you insert them into those black plastic elbow connectors at the top, which is right in the center of your screen. What they don't say is that the poles go in one way because they're thicker uh, on one side than the other. The upright steel shaft uh, black poles go into the larger opening and the smaller black fiberglass ones on the top go into the smaller opening. Sounds pretty simple, but uh, if you don't know to expect that, uh, you don't know to plan for it, and so uh, not a big deal. I just had to switch around about four of those, uh, and I did notice as I was doing that, that on one side of the connector there's a little dot, which probably is there to tell you that, hey, that's the side for the roof uh, versus the side for uh, the bottom. So let me show you a little bit more, uh, and then we'll put the rain fly on. Another feature that I like about this tent are the oversized zippers. Now you can see that the width of this is pretty thick. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it are these little string pulls here. Um, they're not secured on the end, they're just tied so you know those can, uh, will, can and will come loose and come off. Um, I'll enjoy them while I can but I think I would have preferred something a little bit thicker there on this. Um, but all the zippers slide very easily. I haven't had any problems getting them to open and uh, one thing I didn't know was that uh, there's actually a power port here. So if that's important to you, uh, this tent does have it. 
Okay, so we're inside the tent now. You can see that it has quite a bit of room, 150 square feet, nice tall ceilings in the center, so you tall guys won't hit your head. Uh, it does have a room divider, uh, which is nice. And the floor is nice and thick too, a little thicker than the sides, which is great uh, for durability. Now, um, most uh, families will buy this tent because you can stack up a lot of kids in it. As you can see, I actually have uh, three spare kids right here, and they fit nice and neatly into the corner. So you could probably fit, I don't know, at least you know, 50, 60 kids in here um, if you didn't want to have room for anything else. Next feature, we've got some uh, sewn-in pockets here with a nice mesh on the outside. There's three of those here. Uh, on the opposite side here, uh, there's three on the back side as well. Again, there's a total of six windows or zippered windows. Two of them are doors, as we can see uh, here. And uh, again, I think so far, uh, so good. Uh, the reinforced uh, grommets I told you about. Uh, so far, looking at the seams, it seems like it's uh, pretty well sealed up. Of course, I am gonna camp dry it and also put seam seal on it uh, just to protect it. Okay, we'll do one last shot with the uh, rain fly on, and hopefully that gives you a good idea of what this tent's all about. Okay, so here she is up with the rain fly. I've got a couple of the corners uh, guyed out and attached to the, attached to the fence. Uh, so all in all, uh, not, not too bad. Let me show you a few more things uh, that I like and not not so crazy about. Okay, so here's a light. A lot of these tents have, uh, you know, guys that come out from the, uh, the fly. And, you know, it's a little hook and you hook it over, you have to tie it. This is a really nice uh, little mechanism here. Let me see, flip it over so you can see it. Uh, which actually catches, see those teeth on the inside of there, actually catch onto the rope. So uh, it's a nice substantial rope. So when you just uh, loop it around something, you can uh, pull it back on itself and it tightens. So pretty nice and uh, pretty simple. Okay, so here's a dislike. So the rain fly attaches at six uh, points uh, to the ground uh, with clips. That's really uh, nice. The clips are eh, just average quality, uh, and there are Velcro loops uh, on the back, as you can see here. Let me find one. Here's a steadier shot of that, so you can see the Velcro uh, attached there to the rain fly just below the clip, uh, which is nice. But then when you get up to the corner, which is the most important place to keep the rain fly uh, on the tent, they have these pieces. So you can see here, um, I, you know, I've just put a, a very simple little knot in there just to hold it in place. Uh, but, you know, this, this can move around and it can move off the seam uh, since it doesn't stay in place. I think what I'd rather have seen uh, would be some elastic, uh, stretchy ones with some hooks in them that could hook right here into this eye on the frame. Okay, one last thing, other thing that I like. Uh, the rain fly sometimes can be difficult to put on on some tents um, to get it situated correctly. But you can see this one actually has a point on the rain fly part that goes over the window. So line up a point to a window, clip it into both sides, you're good to go. Here's the inside of the tent uh, with the rain fly on. And actually it's nice because the uh, screen top, see that, uh, re remains separated from the rain fly so that even though it's uh, hot, it's 90 degrees I said today, uh, it still actually remains fairly cool inside the tent, which is nice. There's definitely a nice breeze uh, flowing through it. Uh, ring at the top to hold your lantern um, and the typical bathtub uh, bottom uh, with the divider. Uh, you can see, uh, again, got uh, plenty of room in here uh, to stretch out. So I picked a good day to put it up. It's, it's really sunny and warm outside. It's also fairly windy. Um, getting some decent guts through here, and the tent's uh, really not made much of a fuss up about it. See a little bit of uh, rippling on the top there, uh, but I only have two guys out. I don't even have the middle stake, uh, and she's rock solid. So I imagine if you had everything guyed out and staked down, uh, you'd be able to get through a pretty heavy windstorm uh, without any problem at all. Okay, so that's my review of the Browning Bighorn tent. I hope you've uh, found this helpful. Overall, I think the Bighorn is a good value. It goes up uh, very similar design to the Eureka Copper Canyon tent. Uh, it has materials that are of similar quality. Uh, there's a few features I, I like and some that I think maybe they should redesign. But overall, I'm pleased with my purchase and hopefully uh, you would be too if you purchased the Browning Bighorn tent. All right, so long and happy camping.